So Spider-Man 2099 got a buff today, but most folks are wondering, was it really a nerf? Because you see, he went from a 4.6 to a 5.9, which is technically a little more efficient from a stat standpoint, but most of us are theorizing it makes him far worse in a pure move deck. And from the little testing I did earlier today, yeah, he felt clunky. You often want to do multiple card combos on turn five, you know, bouncing things around, setting up a cloak, playing a, a, a vulture and a, and, a, and a Doctor Strange, playing, you know, Ghost Spider and Iron Fist and multiple cards, moving stuff all over the place and just plopping down a big old 5-9 with potentially a pretty limited and risky payoff in, in 2099's Destroy Effect. It just doesn't really make sense for a deck that has so many different moving pieces moving pieces that it's trying to orchestrate so i do think this card looks and feels a lot worse in a move deck but with this new stat line i thought it might be fun to try 2099 in more of a general use five drop slot something in that vein of like an arrow or a vision where you're just looking to get a pretty big number on five with some occasional big payoffs and to do that of course i put heimdall in the mix here also got buffed today from eight to nine which again, nice stat threshold here, getting him under Shang-Chi, but as big as you can be otherwise. And put them both in the top end of a Zabu lockdown deck, a proven shell and archetype here that's worked really well. But instead of having uh, like a Vision and a Doctor Doom, we're trying out 2099 and Heimdall. I also put a Doctor Octopus in the mix here as another five drop payoff for Heimdall because this can like pull a bunch of your opponent's threats in and then Heimdall can move him away from those threats so you can contest the other two spots rather nicely. So another sneaky little combo with the five into six move package. And I wasn't expecting too much here, but this deck actually did pretty well for me. I went uh, 57%, 17 and 12. I was up some cubes on this one. And Heimdall in particular did feel like a very useful and powerful tool. Uh, the stat line is nice, of course. The surprise factor on Heimdall has always been there, particularly because this deck doesn't show any other move stuff unless you play 2099. Can really catch opponents off guard and surprise them with all those big power shifts. Now, the question, though, becomes like, is this just such a good core deck? Would I have performed really well anyway? And would it perform better with a Vision and a Doctor Doom and a traditional top end? The answer to that is is probably yes. I don't think 2099 felt great necessarily. In fact, you won't even see that many moments where he did much. Most of the time I was happier playing Dr. Octopus and other lines. It was really Heimdall that felt like the standout here. So this is capable. It's functional. It worked. This is probably a good sort of basis for 2099. I'm sure it could use some refinement as well. But, uh, you know, if you're desperate to play this card, yeah, this is fine. I also thought about putting like a ghost spider in here if you want a bit more redundancy. Uh, if you feel like you need it, that that's, you know, it's capable. It's fun. Is it the best version of all this? No, probably not. I think you're probably better off with the traditional list. That said, Heimdall in particular is a card to me that feels like it needs uh, some more attention. I think this actually looks pretty good now at 6-9. I think there's some potential for this in a lot of different shells. That surprise factor can be very nice, even if you don't have big payoffs. So uh, keep an eye on this one. 2099, I think, is still kind of iffy, although, you know, I'll let you decide after watching this video. Shuri's Lab. Maybe we turn that off with Storm. I don't want to mess with that, right? Like, we're not bad at it, <clears throat> but we're not great either, necessarily. <clears throat> I guess, oh, I was gonna say Doc Ock is really good at it. Do we have a Doc Ock? We do not, okay. Uh, Yeah, let's go Medusa mid, Storm left. That'll actually open up a Miss Marvel right. And a... Probably a 2099, right? That does mean we're not going to get... If we do that, we're not going to get Miss Marvel on all sides. But I think it looks to me like we're going to give up right here and try to win left and mid. I hope they don't benefit from Shuri's lab here because they got the Korg priority off Nita Valir. Yeah, that's a bug. That's a guaranteed Thor, too. So he's got four for free. Uh, we could try to snipe that with 2099, I guess, as well. We know that Iron Lad just whiffs. So I think we like Miss Marvel better. So yeah, this 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 actually now feels like Miss Marvel right, 2099 mid, Heimdall mid right, and we try to win left and mid. What a, what that that's so crazy how like you know this random need of Valir spawn gave them priority seven to five, which means Thor gets to hit 
instead of flooding he hits shuri's and he goes to eight it's like four free power 2099 you know not obviously guaranteed to hit thor here but hopefully they may be saying to themselves like hey i have odin i'm gonna trust that to win left and we can use the 2099 to say no 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 that's not gonna work man this is overkill a little bit though too well i mean it's not overkill because we need power but we're only gonna have 13 power mid is that gonna feel like enough they may be too late to pivot yeah i think they're a little bit too late to pivot it's funny because that did nothing because they already drew the hammer because of limitless rates it's, it's, it's like it does literally nothing yeah i mean let's see right 13 mids okay we know thor is 100 percent dying to 2099 so it's just like is you know if they go odin hammer mid it's actually only 12 so we'd be fine uh, they might go odin hammer right because they may be thinking like there's no way he actually has the heimdall right that's what they're thinking right now i was like did he actually get heimdall off lamentus <laughs> can i beat heimdall <laughs> yeah they just go odin hammer right which means we're fine cool yeah that big thor being isolated just makes 2099 beautiful and the cool thing is too even if they'd played odin mid here we were gonna win right it's um it's pretty sick because um odin is nine now instead of eight so this nine and four would have beaten odin's eight and four so the buff here would have actually prevented them from winning even mid i got fist bumped yeah dude 29 winning games let's go a little bit overkill right like we said we don't really need 20 to 1 power because the, the 29 would have soloed it but uh you know we didn't know that at the time with medusa and stuff all right not a good hand right we're typically a pretty good kiln deck but where where, where are the cards the game forgot to get this is not even a helpful tinkerers it's not even any good i needed it next turn uh medusa is fine we we can add power mid and then shift it in later for surprise factor so that's okay this is more full move i actually experimented with more move cards right and it just didn't feel good i don't know if this feels good yet either but that definitely didn't feel good i'll tell you that man we are whiffing like idiots here uh i can honestly play miss marvel here but it will certainly signal what i'm up to <laughs> there's no question they'll know exactly what's cooking this vulture is in an interesting spot uh I, I, it's like where is this thing gonna end up you know because we need to 29 it it's already so freaking big uh we have strong g2 of course oh yeah i mean i don't think it moves this turn right i think you just kill it now i don't think it moves this turn what can it move with there's stuff like cloak to move it next turn but all the instant move stuff is gone yeah that's it's actually fine we're gonna be um at eight to well i mean obviously they also might have a i'm doll so we're not we're certainly not out of the woods here or anything this is interesting right like is are we playing for tiebreakers are we playing for maybe we're just playing for tiebreakers in that case i think heimdall well i don't know man the 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 the, the big card they play is probably going to be heimdall here but i don't know if we're going to lose priority or not probably going to priority oh we are going to lose priority because bar with no name is giving them priority um yeah i think i like this better for the sake of tiebreaker oh dude oh my god dude we're we're actually geniuses dude <laughs> we're actually this is crazy how even this is five to five mid uh i'm assuming they're also playing a hype doll so i think i think if we hit their miles we always lose right um because they are always hitting oh they're not playing um not playing heimdall okay this actually gives them even more advantage potentially although i don't know my spider-man has way better targets because uh, it's, got, it's got well it's got spider-man i don't know i don't know i think we're in trouble right we need to hit is that enough i don't, I don't think that's enough right what is enough we're up by two no we tie we tie <laughs> you're kidding me of course because we both did fives and they played a nine and a nine although they also played no no they played they played six uh but they were ahead here already by three and we played nine so we played an extra three that's crazy dude <laughs> what a fun game man i wonder if there is a better way for me to win this i don't know okay uh yeah i think we open with medusa for sure black cat gone so might be hella might be uh 
Black Knight, maybe they didn't, they didn't have a Black Knight, perhaps. These Medusas actually scale really well off cloning bats. This is pretty cool. Because the next one becomes nine. Jeff can be a Kun Loon play. I mean, if we just play a lot of Medusas, surely we're fine, right? <laughs> I mean, that seems really good. They get so big so fast. Oh, not nine, eight. I know how to, I know how to do math. Don't, 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 don't look at me. I know how to do math. Don't be silly. Uh, yeah, let's, well, this puts me at seven cards. I don't want to put Jeff left though, because he risks dying. It's better to be at six cards. They're not going to play her. They're going to play Lockjaw, so. Okay. Blade, Magneto gone. Okay, so that's like 21 power in a hella right now. I mean, this Medusa is so big mid, like surely. Uh, this storm just doesn't do a lot. I think we're mostly gonna be playing for a Shang-Chi, right? But Dracula is really hard to beat. <sighs> uh, but I mean, if I wanna play Medusa here, I mean, I can play Medusa next turn to be fair. Right, and then I can play Shang-Chi Medusa. Yeah, I think I like that better. Um, I mean, Doc Ock right has a chance to be disruptive. The problem is Dracula can beat me late. I think we do this and we just trust the Shang-Chi. Maybe we rip a Hella a little early too. I don't know. Only two cards. Death, Giganto, Black Knight, Jubilee. Okay. There's the Hella. Oh, so Shang-Chi just owns left. Nice. Absolutely owns it. And then I think you just trust Medusa, right? They have a Shang-Chi out here too, I guess. Well, we'd be 13 to nine, but if they had two cards, we'd have an out, I guess. Jubilee again, uh-oh. No way, right, Blob? Oh, we beat Infinite, okay. Oh my God, dude, that is scary. They high rolled like crazy. These Medusas just carrying though, dude. Oh, the Jubilee. Oh man, okay, that's funny. Cloning bats kind of ruining the uh, Dracula there a little bit. Man, we could have almost beat Dracula with just like numbers. But yeah, that was a cool game. Okay, Storm. We got a free Atuma. Not very good for us usually. Oh, Blade getting rid of a Doc Ock. That must have been off Great Portal, right? And Black Cat gone. So this could be an interesting Shang-Chi game, but Black Cat is definitely the exact wrong size for us. Medusa coming in late. Storm... Storm left probably makes more sense. We could do some interesting stuff with Heimdall, maybe. We like Zabu better this game. I don't know. We got like a four and a five. I don't think we do. Heimdall's gonna, like, depending on where it gets played, if we get a Heimdall, like, Dark Dimension could sort of hide things in the meantime, right? Diablo's base. Come on, bro. We're trying, dude. We're trying here. Give us a break, man. Dracula. That's pretty tough. That would normally be a pretty good 2099 target, I think, but. I don't have great targets for this. There's that black cat. That would normally be a pretty good target for this. Heimdall. Yeah, this just doesn't win, right? Because it's only. Uh, nine 11 left could win like this but it wastes to miss marvel i mean maybe i don't know there's a, there's a chance right oh they didn't even play anything mid are you kidding me that actually really surprises me what the heck Minions to me. oh shang chi <gasps> oh! oh my god yes yes the Heimdall left. I don't even know what this. What, what, oh! Ah! <laughs> I'm actually a genius. The Heimdall left doesn't even move these. I, I, this never. This, this, dude, dude, this never wins. I'm so stupid. This doesn't win. I don't know why I played this. This only, this only wins if the opponent pulls. If the opponent pulls a Doc Ock. This just doesn't. This just doesn't win. I uh, I got so lucky, dude. Dream Dimension we can definitely turn off. We don't want that. It's actually good with Medusa on two as well. That's really nice. 
Ravona. Bifrost. Um, well, this makes life a little weird because Bifrost is gonna move my storm cards. I mean, I can put a Jessica left and I guess I can use a Heimdall to, to move these back to mid. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's just the plan. Maybe it's still just Jessica mid and then, yeah, we, we just let Bifrost pull them out and then we just pull them back, right? That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I kind of dig it, yeah. Um, Hobgoblin though, that's annoying. It's not going anywhere that a Galactus might be active though, I guess, right? That's interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think maybe it's just Doc Ock, right? Like then we just win with Heimdall right and um, we flip mid. The Doc Ock makes their life really hard to uh, prepare for too with the Daredevil. They're just like, oh God, what do I do? It does give them white hot room, but do we think that's a big, big risk? I don't know. 2099 is just kind of impossible to use here. He wouldn't do enough. Like if we play him right, he just kind of gets wasted mid, you know? There is maybe like a Miss Marvel here and then you Heimdall left and you have the Goblin and the Heimdall and the Marvel to put you like six power, but six is just like, eh, it's not enough probably. This gives me basically an 11 power location left after the uh, Hobgoblin. Uh, this is risky, right? It just depends on how much power comes down out of this Doc Ock, I guess we'll see. They are really thinking about it, by the way. How many cards do they have in hand? Five in hand, so I mean, it's, they kind of know what's up. Like, it's not, it can't be too surprising, right? Maybe this just totally wrecks them and they left? I don't know what's about to happen. Green Goblin as well, okay. Um, Black Widow, that doesn't matter at all at this stage, right? Are we gonna be big enough here if I, if I, if I Heimdall? Like, is Heimdall a risk? Oh my God, dude, it's unbelievable. Oh, oh God, bro. What in God's name? All right, we're gonna win anyway, it's fine. We're totally gonna win. They don't have, they don't have it. They're top decking, they don't have it, right? It's fine, we're gonna win. What could they possibly, I mean like, yeah, they get top deck an Eliath and be gods, but most of the time, this top deck does not do enough. Even like a Doctor Doom, is that enough? I, mean, I guess it would be. Oh, they just snapped and we just win on the Heim, but bro. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Medusa we love We'd prefer a Zabu, I guess All these fours Oh, well, that's kind of like a Zabu, isn't it? Yeah uh, Full move deck here A little scary We've got um, Doc Ock can definitely like lock things up For a move deck Or like play a Heimdall early Those sorts of things, right? But it's still tough Torch could be a good uh, Chongchi or maybe 2099 target. Storm, we don't care about at all. In fact, we've got a Medusa chill in there. Or, I mean, a uh, Nebula chill in there, so we're pretty happy. We can also dump in a Jones, I guess. I mean, I think there's a decent chance, of course, that we hit Heimdall and we can play whatever, but we don't have him yet. So for now, let's respect the, uh, let's respect the flooding with Jessica. I think Doc Ock right looks insane for Shuri's lab. Oh, okay. Cause he gets the benefit and the cards pulled don't get to benefit, right? So it, it, it often helps him outscale a lot of stuff. Uh oh. So we have that too. Only two cards in hand, huh? Oh, we're losing our Medusa, but that's actually not too bad. We, um, we do need our own Heimdall here, though, to be honest. Like, we're a little bit behind on this. If I don't hit Heimdall, I could also maybe hit Shang-Chi or Iron Lad can also serve that purpose, right? So they got one card off the top, which they're sitting on. Doesn't really tell us much. Boy. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a chance this is Heimdall and we just murder. This feels locked in, right? Like, I think Jeff is safe here. Their last card actually played was 2099, right? So there's no like ghost spider, anything here. No, I mean, it's just, it should be okay. I mean, Shang-Chi's good. 
Heimdall's good. Storm is not good. Basically a couple good results here, I think. Juggernaut. Oh, boy. Um, that's probably still okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. Heimdall would still be cool. But it's, I mean, uh, that's that just never wins for them, right? We got Shang-Chi instead. I don't know what their plan was here, because this just never wins. Because they're still just behind at a base here. Okay, Medusa. Yod time's actually sick for us. Number one, we can turn it off if we want. But number two, we can just move into it late. Oh, Medusa, no. Not like this. It's okay, we have Storm. <laughs> Storm will save us and we can still get the Jotunheim too. So it's all good. It's all good. Oh, I'm all Spider-Man 29 is nice That's a good line. Um, do we play a four here? We don't really have a good one. I think we're just playing Nebula, right? Wind Nebula plus Zabu would be my dream. I guess Zabu doesn't do much. Nebula plus Jeff maybe is my dream. Bro! That is actually so rude Incredibly rude I called for the Zabu and that's what I got. It's it's my own fault. I mean, like, yeah, that is gaining a lot of negative stats. Um, I Are they going to play a big card in Flooding or not? Because that kind of determines how good 2099 feels this game, I think. 2099 is probably not very good unless they play a big threat in Flooding, like a Beta Ray Bill or something. I don't know what Green Goblin's going to be cooking, though. What are they cooking? Beta Ray Bill? Oh, that's a big threat. Okay. This is some kind of, like, toxic -y deck. That's cool. Maybe you're gonna have like a hazmat or something. I mean, currently this is going to outpace the green goblin, right? It's it's gaining two here. There's only losing one here and it's eight and that's five. But they obviously can add additional power to Jotunheim. They're not locked out or anything. So it, uh, it sort of just depends. I think in this case, we're Heimdalling left to support this more, right? We know 2099 wins mid, right? They've got more power. Um, although this leaves the Nebula stranded, so I'm only gaining a little bit of extra power. So let's see, Yotunheim's gonna go off at the end. That's four, negative four. Man, this, in some ways I like Heimdall right a little better because I think he might be 12. This does at least still cover them not playing at all, doesn't it? 8, 10, negative 6. They're going to be... Well, she's actually 12. I mean, this is plus 2 power. So, yes, it does technically cover them a little bit. This is... This is hard, though, man. The Heimdall is only plus 4 here, though, is the thing. I think, I think I'm better off Heimdall right, but it's... it's. I don't know. I think there's a chance we just lose this. Heimdall right, I'm hoping, is just big enough to cover, though. It looks like it's going to be, yeah. Oh, Titania. I would have stole that, but it would have kind of messed me up. But Heimdall right is... Uh... Oh, no, he's not enough to cover. No! No, he's one off. No! No! Okay, Nebula. Oh, shoot. Sorry, opponent. Sorry. Black Knight. I think our I think our deck has a hard time against Ebony Blade in general. Like, you know, Shang Chi's tough. We can we can also we can we can use Storm though to like you know gain a, a big advantage left or something if, if we get out ahead of it. Although Sunspot can check that a little bit, huh? I mean, we want to do it here for the sake of uh, Nebula, but it's kind of risky too. We can still move stuff in later, I suppose. Uh. Kyera, that's fine. There's only how much power they have here. Stop it. I'm actually going to have to commit more, man. Nothing here except Jessica Jones is very useful, is it? Since I have a Heimdall in hand, I wonder if I do something like this and try to hit a Jessica or a Medusa or a 2099. Well, 2099, I guess, won't be helpful. I could hit Kyera. I don't know. I'm thinking about bailing out a left, basically, though, because it seems like it's going to be really hard to win. Sunspot just gives them so much luxury here, particularly when they played yet another card. So that Ebony is uh, Magneto now. We hit Miss Marvel, which, I mean, actually is pretty cool stat bump, but I'm going to Heimdall out of that, maybe. <laughs> so it's a little... Um... Yeah, again, I mean... This usually hits the Ebony Blade, which we can't really kill. I can maybe try to Heimdall out of this late. Eh, try to win, try to win left. 
with a Heimdall right, but that just feels so risky, right? Like, how do you win Heimdall right? Shang-Chi just doesn't work usually against Ebony Blade, so it's like Shang-Chi won't... Oh my god! Uh, okay. Oh! Shang-Chi! Oh my god, dude, you always... I swear to god, dude, it always works this way. Don't tell me I got a Shang-Chi too. Don't even tell me. It's Marvel again, bro. We, like, this is actually pretty sick. Ghost Rider. Okay, that's the Magneto. Shame my Shang-Chi didn't go off before that. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered, actually, Kyra, huh? Doc Ock was exactly the right for that. Uh, dude, these effects are hilarious right now. So... So, I mean, we can actually win this if they just don't have a big enough card. Like, you know, if they just have a small card right. I'm assuming they have a bunch of sixes, but... Oh, they just passed for the sunspot, baby. Let's go. Heimdall, big wins, dude. They just passed on the sunspot because they thought I was stuck. Well, wait, why did they think I was stuck? It's not It's not flooding anymore. Why did they think I couldn't? I guess it was a lot of power to add. I only had, what, 13? Well, it wasn't that much. Seven. Maybe they just didn't have anything good. Just a bad top deck or whatever. They only had one card in hand, so... Might have been useless and decided that was more efficient power chance. Ooh, we love Zabu, and we actually don't probably even hate Double Iron Lad with Zabu down. That's cool. Deadpool getting a little buff today that was <laughs> it was proclaimed to be a nerf, and most people are saying it feels like a buff with a turn two Hulkbuster. Uh, not hitting it here at least. Now twenty ninety nine could actually be a pretty good hit on a on a on a Deadpool. I don't know. I think it's worth a shot at least so we could try we can predict where the deadpool is gonna be double wolverine is cool oh storm right that's not necessarily the ideal spot for a storm for us because heimdall moves all of our power out of it but i do think it's pretty annoying for the opponent because i think they're gonna have a hard time getting power down here they want to they want to play you know venoms and stuff here i mean i guess the wolverines could screw us we have Jeff to supplant though, so I'm gonna actually shift a storm mid <laughs> and start winning mid, I hope. Um, Cause we have the Nebula, which is pretty nice. So the Wolverines at only four shouldn't be too big of a deal. Like one here is not a big deal, for instance. If both rolled right, I guess I'd be a little more nervous. So that feels pretty safe against a destroy deck in my book. I think we just go 2099. Well, I don't know. What's this is actually also nine power, but I can't surprise with the Jeff next turn. I think this is fine because I can go Marvel plus Jeff to surprise here. Like if they go for something big here, we're still gonna be pretty pretty nice. We're just gonna try to get max power here. Yeah, Venom. Now that is again a six power Wolverine right potentially, but we have the Jeff, so should be okay. In either case, I think we're going to be fine. Um, can I beat 18, though? Uh, yeah, we're going to go to 14 off Nebula. 19 off Miss Marvel. Jeff is actually overkill here, I guess. Technically, I guess the Miss Marvel could die somehow, but... 1, 2, 3, 5, that's fine, yeah. Just, just stat win here. Just, uh... St oh, I forgot about that! Uh, we're still fine, right? Didn't I say 19? Think we're okay. Think we're okay. Woo! <laughs> oh, dude, that's scary. Oh, that Killmonger, dude. That was spooky. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, nice. Uh, Iron Lad Storm, doing work, dude. 2099. I mean, he's big. He's, he's, he was just big enough, man. If he was a 580, he'd be too small, but it's affected squad all. Ooh, we love Nebula. Uh, do we trust Nebula and Hala? I can't really add a lot of power via fours right now. I don't know if we do. It's kind of risky. Uh, let's put cards on the... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, on the flanks, it kind of makes sense for Miss Marvel, but with Heimdall in particular, Miss Marvel might also end up on a flank. So, I don't know. Whatever I put on, like, right or left might actually end up being... Might actually end up being mid, you know? If I put it right, it may end up mid. Which, I mean, that's okay for Nebula. It's not a big deal. That actually is a question. Do we put Miss Marvel right right now? Oh, we definitely... Fisk Tower, bro. We gotta be careful. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's put Miss Marvel right. I wonder if they'll... I wonder if they'll get the... the <laughs> I wonder if this signal's too hard, right? Do they understand why this is happening sort of thing, you know? 
Okay, so Miss Marvel's gonna be activating here. The problem is I can't really get cards right for Ms. Marvel. She's kind of a two-parter here, which again, this is a, a fear I had for in the stack. The thing is you don't always have Heimdall in hand, so you gotta decide if it's worth it or not. Here I'm saying it's it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, Iron Line Jeff's fine, right? Jeff is here for Miss Marvel with Zabu, but we can back him out if needed. It's not a big deal. <sighs> All right, what is this gonna be? Medusa? No! Play those backwards. Chong chi Ooh, that's kind of gross. So, I mean, if we go Heimdall here... Problem is, Jeff and Zabu, it's, uh, it's not actually right. Heimdall here... Because I can't move Jeff here, because he just... He, he becomes... Well, he doesn't become pointless, because... Well, he actually actively hurts me, though. He kind of does become pointless. That's... That's true. 13, ah, ah, bro, there's just no way, right? Like, I don't even move the Miss Marvel unless I move Jeff out. Zabu here, no, I mean, I guess this is fine. It's just that Jeff is negative two in this case. Am I stupid? Like, is this just, maybe we trust the 13 here and we don't need the Miss Marvel, but I don't think that's true. 13 here, we have nine and four, 13, 16 minus two is 14. I mean, I guess this is still technically 14, but uh, maybe this Jeff and Iron Lad needed to be swapped pretty hard, man. I don't know. Like, this is technically enough, so maybe it's okay. I guess we'll see. What, well, is this just Eliath? What is this? Oh! Oh, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't penalize the Jeff! Interesting! Interesting! We learned! It didn't penalize the Jeff because, I guess, he never realized his move before Heimdall moved him back out. He got no Fisk Tower debuff. Okay, well, that's great to know. I mean, again, it, it didn't actually matter because we would have been 14 to 13 in this particular scenario, but good to know. Cool, dude. Yeah, the Heimdall surprise here made a big difference. Nice. <laughs> it's funny he's back at his base power, though. <laughs> we would have been able to beat this Hulk left as well, by the way, which is pretty nice. All right, Jeff and Zabu. Ooh, uh, Doc Ock could be cool to rip early, man. Give me that Doc. Oh, what is it gonna? Oh, Grandmaster doesn't do anything. Okay, be, be stuff that's not a destroy card. That's so unlikely. Wolverine. <gasps> Nico, it actually happened. Now they do have Killmonger outs though to clear this out still. So it's not like it's, you know, not job done, but pretty good start. They got to Killmonger this out. So the earliest they can do that is turn three. And if they don't have a Killmonger, they could be in real trouble. Uh, Nico's gonna move a card, but I don't think I don't think that matters much, right? Uh, yeah, we can get a Jessica down and play Medusa Jeff. Move Jeff over to benefit. That looks like Killmonger to me, right? They had it early. Oh, they don't have it early. Wow. So Deadpool is just getting stranded by this Doc Ock. That's so cool, dude. Yeah, this is fine. Killmonger yet? Maybe, maybe they wanted to get 23 down first. Still no Killmonger. All right, well, Deadpool's just not going to have time to make an impact then, right? We don't think. Uh. Okay, this is like, oh, they're just done. I would say like, this is kind of overkill, right? Like we do, we're so far ahead left, so far ahead mid. You know, this really shut them out. So, Doc Ock's been a pretty good card today, I feel like. All right, Nebula, go get him. Uh, Doc Ock, Heimdall's pretty sweet, yeah. We don't really want Nebula to end up in Necrotia with Heimdall, though. She's a little on the small side sometimes. Oh, Mind Stone. Doc Ock could be pretty cool against the Thanos deck. Just a bunch of little garbage, maybe. Getting pulled out, hopefully. Ah, Doc Ock mid's kind of neat. Doc Ock mid. They might be full anyways, the only thing. But I don't want to. I don't want to end him up in vault if he's too small. Doc Ock left with Necrotia is also actually pretty sweet. It just doesn't play the Hive Doll very well. But it is nice from a uh, like stat spread standpoint, right? Oh, the Electra Spice, fun. I don't know if I would feel confident to snap on an Electra. Like Nebula is not such a key, <laughs> you know, like not such a key inclusion that I'm snapping necessarily. This hand, though, my god, I guess the only good news is I can't draw dead next turn, but how do I win this game? Uh, I just, I, I don't even know if Nord Dimension helps me all that much, and certainly 2099 is terrible against flood decks like this. 
Power stone. They are really flooding a lot already. Man, all the tiny guys. Uh, I must have a blue marvel or something to buff all this. Otherwise, I think you'd feel like you're overcommitted a bit. Yeah, we can go Jessica into uh, Doc Ock plus Jin. See what the Doc Ock does. Still don't... I mean, I think it's right left because they're going to be mostly locked up, but it's still pretty tough to win here, I think. There's just a lot of power out. Uh, Vault, we can actually get to with Heimdall, so we're not necessarily even worried about playing the Vault too much. I mean, maybe a Jin can go there, so they get two more cards that go there. Let's see if we can't lock them up, man. They might only have one spot available this game that we just bail out of with Heimdall anyway. That said, we do have to worry a little bit about, like, Blue Marvel, maybe. And I kind of need this Doc Ock to, like, win. Unfortunately, all their small stuff's already on board, so I don't think it's going to hit too many small things, which is what we need. We need, like, one power, one power, one power. There's even a chance that it's Reality Stone, which really hurts us. So I think they're going to play, like, a Blue Marvel mid, though, is my guess, right? Oh, they played a lot of stuff. They're actually full. Oh, my God. So we're going to have full information here. Uh, I mean, assuming they have cards left in hand, I'm sure they must, right? Yeah, four in hand. Heimstone is pretty small, at least. Can we hit some, some baby cards here? Nope. It's kind of a baby card. Uh, I mean, surely. With eight energy, I have enough power, right? I say this, but I'm not totally sure that's true. Uh... Bro, can I seriously not win? Bro. <laughs> Bro. Uh... Oh, dude. I, dude, I don't. Dude, they retreated. I don't know if I had it. I don't know if I had it. <laughs> they might be overconfident here. Like, like Heimdall right doesn't do it right because the soul stone makes everything mid like extra small. Like I'm moving 12, but I'm actually only getting 10. So Heimdall right is also just, or Heimdall left or whatever. Heimdall left would win left, right? But not mid. Are you, I, I don't think I had it. How can I not win only losing by four points? I think I didn't have it. The Doc Ock wins on a bluff and a bluff alone. That is actually insane.